Hello, good morning. So this is Maria Cristina R. Maser, your teacher on Earth Science Grade 10. In our first discussion, our first topic for this whole quarter is all about volcanic belts. So firstly, let's discuss first or let's define first what is a volcanic belt. A volcanic belt is actually a series of volcanoes or active volcanoes found on a specific location. This location is considered to be tectonically active. So for today, I will discuss with you the three major belts found on the world. Likewise, active volcanoes or most known volcanoes on that specific belt. So firstly, we will begin with Circum Pacific Belt. So, Circum Pacific Belt is shaped like a horseshoe. It is bounded by Andes, South America, Central America, Mexico, the Cascade Mountains, the Aleutian Islands, Kamchatka, the Puri Islands, Japan, Philippines, Indonesia, Celebes, Papua New Guinea, the Solomon Islands, New Zealand, and New Caledonia. The volcanoes of the Aleutian Islands, the Hawaiian Islands, and Japan are found in the Ring of Fire, or also known as the Circum Pacific Belt. So the first um, active or most known volcanoes that I will share to you is the Mount Cotopaxi. Mount Cotopaxi is found in Ecuador, one of the highest and active volcano in the world. Next is actually Mount Fujiyama. It is the highest peak in Japan. It is considered to be active up to this day. It has a proportion cone and has a snow-covered peak. That is why it is considered to be one of the most uh, beautiful volcano in the whole world because of its ice cup type of summit. Next is actually Mount Shasta. Mount Shasta is considered as the fifth highest peak in California. It has actually four overlapping cones. Next is actually under Circum Pacific Belt still is Mount Rainier. Mount Rainier is considered as one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. The ice or glacier at its peak could turn into a large volume of lahars. Next would be Mount Hood. It is the highest mountain in Oregon. It is considered as inactive, but actually potentially active according to some volcanologists in their region. Next is actually Mount Novarupta. It is found in Alaska. Erupted on June 6 to 8, 1912. Its basic characteristics or property is that uh, it's no, or it's actually, it's crater is filled with ash and volcanic deposits the valley of 10,000 smokes. A valley within Katmai National Park in Alaska. Next is actually Mount Tinapula. Mount Tinapula is the most active volcano in the Solomon Islands. Next is Krakatoa. Krakatoa is found in Indonesia, erupted in August 1883. It was a major disaster. It is still considered as an active volcano up to this day. It generated a tsunami which blown two-thirds of the whole island of um, Indonesia. Next would be Manam. Manam is considered as the most active volcano in Papua New Guinea. Next is actually Taupo. Taupo is a volcanic zone in New Zealand. It has three active volcanic cones. Next type of a belt that we're going to discuss, or geographic belt to be specific, is the volcanic belt uh, that is the Alpide belt. And the some of its most known volcanoes, firstly, will begin with Mount Ararat. It's a snow cup and active volcano in Turkey. Next would be Mount Damavand. 
It is actually an inactive volcano in Iran, noted for its hot springs. So located on that particular area are huge and some are actually numerous hot springs located on that region in Iran. Way, uh, let's go back on Mount Ararat. Uh, on that particular area in Turkey, you will see that the volcanoes or the Mount Ararat is found within the city of Turkey. So that makes it more difficult or um, hazardous or makes the volcano a danger to those people who live on that city of Turkey. Next would be Mount Hindukush. Mount Hindukush is considered as a sub-range in Himalayas, consists of a few young volcanoes in Afghanistan. So when you speak of sub-range, it is connected to the Himalayas range, which connects European continent to the uh, Asian continent through the, in the Indian plate. So that's why we have this, what do we call it as Euro- Eurasian plate. Next would be Stromboli in Italy. It is found in Sicily and is known for its frequent eruptions for the past 2,000 years. So up to this date, it uh, emits um, tephra, ashes, and ash cloud, which makes it one of the active volcanoes volcanoes in the region. Next would be Mount Etna, Sicilia. As you can see on the picture, uh, Mount Etna is uh, found within the very heart of the city, which makes it uh, dangerous on the part of those people who live within the city of Sicily, Italy. So it is the tallest active volcano in Europe, not only in Sicily, Italy, but actually on the entire um, continent of Europe. Next is actually Mount Vesuvius. So as you can see on the European continent, there are a lot of volcanoes found on the particular continent. Mount Vesuvius is best remembered for its eruption in AD 79. So if you watch the movie of Bay, the featured volcano on that particular movie is actually Mount Vesuvius. Uh, the eruption buried the cities of Pompeii, uh, just like what I have mentioned a while ago. That particular movie, Pompeii, the featured volcano is actually that of Mount Vesuvius, which is actually a huge one. And it is actually on the very heart of the city. So, and actually on the city of Herculaneum during those uh, times which is actually 79 AD. Next is actually Mount Kilimanjaro, an extinct volcano in northern Tanzania, one of the largest volcano in the world. Next is actually Mount Eldot, is actually an extinct volcano in the Uganda, Kenya border. It is the oldest and largest solitary volcanic mountain in East Africa. Next is actually the Virunga Mountains. Consists of a range of eight major volcanoes or overlapping volcanoes. But this actually volcanoes are actually dormant. So those overlapping volcanoes do not erupt at all but releases magma from time to time found in Central East Africa. So as you can see on the picture of the Virunga Mountains, it emits uh, smoke or gas, which indicates that the magma is near to its vent. Next is actually Mount Rungwe. It's actually an active volcano in the southern highlands of Tanzania. So as you can see on the picture, uh, it would not harm uh, and it would not be a danger to any people because as you can see, it's actually on a mountain. Okay? It's actually located on a highland and it's not on the very heart of city, just like Sicily, 
Mount Vesuvius, and then the Etna, which was actually located on the very heart of Sicily, Italy. And the last type of volcanic belt that we're going to discuss today, which is actually considered as an active one, is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is very famous because it cuts the entire uh, Earth's continent up to 75%. So uh, most of the oceanologies, as they try to discover what's in our ocean or underneath our ocean, there they observed a lot of ridges or a series of uh, mountain-like structures which emits a lot of magma. So when we speak of ridges, these are little mountains in the ocean. But on this case of mid Atlantic Ridge, some of its ridges or series of mountains in the ocean releases likewise a magma. So once they release a magma, they are already considered as a volcano. So to begin with, it includes volcanoes along the mid Atlantic Ocean, submarine volcanoes. So basically, when we speak of mid Atlantic Ridge, it is located underneath our ocean water. So submarine volcanoes of eruptions are of the fissure type. When we speak of fissure type, these are only cracks or holes on our continents or oceanic crust are common in this belt. So those holes, those cracks um, are observed to be releasing a lot of magma from time to time on this mid-Atlantic belt. So the first type of volcano uh, or volcanic belt is actually the Lesser Antilles. The Lesser Antilles is actually a volcanic arc or also known as series of mountain on the ocean floor that forms the eastern boundary of the Caribbean plate and it has 17 active volcanoes which releases magma underneath the ocean floor from time to time. So one of them is the Kikdem Jerry which generated a series of tsunami that is 2 meters high. Next is the Azores. A volcanic ar archipelago in Portugal is composed of nine volcanic islands in the northern Atlantic. So that's all for today. If you have any more questions, um, you can message me to my QE Gmail account. Thank you and goodbye.